two hose lines into this fire department connection. But the chances are that you're going to start connecting and just pumping one line to begin with. If that is your intention, that's fine. But both plugs have to come out at the same time. If not, that clapper right there, if it leaks water, can you imagine the pressure buildup? So if you did manage to get it off, it'll cripple you. So we want to go ahead and we want to take these, these happen to be plugs. Plugs are, are uh, caps with male threads, okay? Now, with a flashlight, is there a clapper? Are there gaskets? Is there an insect nest? You would be amazed at the vile things that you will find in here. I've seen cigarette butts, uh, cigarette packs. Now, invariably, if you need gaskets, go get yourself some gaskets out of, uh, out of the apparatus. What's going to be here? Frozen. Frozen. Now, Ray, will you explain why we carry the array of double males and females on our three inch line? A lot of people don't know why we carry the double male at the end of the three inch. And the reason being is you can still hook this up on the other side of the Y and connect the three inch straight to the Y. And they don't know why we carry this. This is mainly for a frozen swivel on the FDC. All you do, you connect it, pull your double female, and now you got a working swivel. Okay, let's say we don't have a double male and double female. We don't have a double male, double female. We got no with the hose counterclockwise a couple times. Started. We've got to get the plugs out of both of them. the stairway here. Now, I want to expand on your question for a minute. You said the lower floors or the first floors. It's not uncommon to see a building that may, for maybe the first eight stories, have PRVs. And then as you ascend into the building, then you have conventional. Why? Because the loss of el from elevation brings that pressure down below where a PRV would be required. Remember, the maximum pressure from a standpipe outlet, according to NFPA 14, is 175 PSI. Now, a couple things. We're going to go ahead and flush this thing. What we did is we improvised a Y to a Siamese connection. Uh, guy in the last class said, well, what about if we took a couple of pigtails or maybe one like the three inch and brought it out here? Would that be maybe less in the way for evacuation? Yeah, I think that's good. Be careful flushing this. If you have a company already flowing water, which would be highly unlikely, already flowing water, if you crank this all the way open, you stole their pressure. Additionally, once you make the connection, if you charge, or we open this valve before we charge the lines, the water back feeds back through the pump and we drop the pressure. 
as I said, it is absolutely critical that we ensure that this is not a pressure reducing valve. How do we recognize it? There's various ways. We can talk about the big rim, but then I can tell you Wilkins valves that don't have a big rim. It says pressure reducing valve on it. Yeah, it may have a sign in the city of Miami, it has a sign. The surefire way, after you look in there and you make sure there's nothing nasty in there, you feel threads. If you feel threads, that is a conventional outlet. If you don't feel threads, more than likely that is a PRV and you cannot use it as an inlet because basically it acts as a check valve when you increase the pressure on the downstream side of, the, of that valve. So that's the idea with improvising a first floor outlet. I've got a, uh, a building in our, our territory that has a, we're going to explain what a manual wet standpipe is. The fire department connection is way over on the opposite side of the parking lot entrance. There's no friggin' way I'm going to use that. I'm going to stop right there where the gate is. We're going to hand stretch a line to the hydrant and put a, 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 a line into the first floor inlet outlet. I'm not even going to use the FDC. Okay, come on over here. Stick your fingers in there. Threads? Smooth. Smooth, right? This is a pressure reducing valve. If we were to put a line here and try to pump in, the force of the water coming in would slam this. This valve doesn't say it's open. It's open. The force of the water coming in here would shove this down like a, a check valve. Go ahead, Mike. All the way. It's going nowhere. It's going nowhere. You cannot pump into a ground floor PRV. Okay, we're hooking up a conventional one right now. Crack a little bit. And the valve's open. Okay, this is a conventional valve. It has threaded valve stem. Crack it just a little bit, Mike. Crack it just a little bit. And quite predictably, water's going to flow out. Come in the inlet, flow up, flow to the outlet. Yeah, we got the other one. There you right. got water coming out. Okay, water's coming out, okay? You can pump into a conventional PR, uh, conventional outlet. Okay, let's shut, shut that it down, down Mike. Shut it!